Okay, so this scale in question is trying to address your understanding of how relative surface area scales with mass. And that is not something that has been in addressed in the lecture, but we can uh, work through the derivation from scratch to sort of develop a relationship for uh, the RSA um, and mass. So we're calling that area scales with L squared and volume scales with L cubed for any object that grows isometrically. So we can say that the L scales with volume to the neg uh, sorry to the volume to the one third power and then I can replace this volume to the one third power into this expression for area uh, proportional to L squared. So that means that area is proportional volume to the one third replacing the L square that then I multiply these two exponents so I can state that the area scales with volume to the two thirds power which means that volume scales with area to the three halves but that's for another problem um, and then to get the relative surface area which just means that uh, it's the surface area relative to the volume I divide both sides of this expression by V so A over V scales with volume to the two thirds divided by V so dividing both sides by V so that's two thirds minus one so I can say the area over volume which is what we call the relative surface area scales with volume to the negative one third and that's sort of our important expression yeah, and this quantity as we said here this is what we refer to as the RSA about the surface area. So also knowing that the um, from density uh, I know that mass changes proportionally with volume uh, assume the density is constant as the object grows so then we can also basically for any place that we see V we can replace with M so area over volume scales of mass to the negative one third again because volume and mass are proportional and then if I want to write mass in terms of A over V, because what's changing here is that we want to make, this is an expression for the relative surface area in terms of mass, but I want an expression for how does the mass change with relative surface area. So I'd raise both sides here to negative 3, and that would give us mass to the power of 1, changes with relative surface area to the uh, negative 3. And that's how we're going to solve this particular problem. So I know that the um, the RSA of Zoe has a relative surface area that's 1.4 times larger than, the, than that of Jesse, and we're interested in if Jesse is a mass m, what is Zoe's mass? So I'm going to set up a ratio here that's very similar to using this expression. So I want to look for the mass of uh, what's Zoe's mass in terms of M, in terms of Jesse's mass. So if I set up a ratio, the mass of Zoe over the mass of Jesse would be equivalent to the ratio of the relative surface areas raised to the negative third power. Um, so I can set up the, and I'll just, I'll, in this expression I'll use RSA. So this would be RSA for Zoe over the RSA for Jesse raised to the negative 3 and in this particular thing so um, if we're told that Jesse has the relative surface area of RSA and then so we has a RSA of 1.4 this will be 1.4 RSA over RSA raised to the negative 3 and we can just cancel out those relative surface areas so I can state here that the mass of Zoe is equal to 1.4 raised to the negative 3 times the mass of Jesse, which is just m in the problem. So this is 1.4 raised to the negative 3 times m, which is 0.36. M. So that gives us choice C. That's the correct answer. So there's quite a bit in this problem, um, but it's really linking going back to the, this expression where we have the relative surface area this is and that's the one single quantity which is basically telling you how the area you know, the area relative to the volume changes with volume to the negative one third power 
but since mass in, is proportional to volume through uh, the quantity of density, we can replace volume with mass. And from that point onwards, I'm sort of considering um, the relationships between mass and relative surface area, knowing that the problem is given, the differences in the sur relative surface areas, and then looking for the how, do the, how are the two masses related for the two dogs.